Hello YouTube, welcome back to our new Unity 3D tutorial. This time it's a space one for the deities and what we're going to do is add some more controls to our ship. So at the moment all it is is movement and mouse. But I don't really want it like that. I want it to be able to edit, well click on the hoods and everything. So what I'm thinking is when we play it, you have to press your left mouse button in order to turn. So then you can turn, then you let go and it'll stay still and you can't do anything, it'll just be normal. But if we press the other button, the right mouse button, we can fire. You can well, one day make it so you can invert it and stuff, but for now it should be really, really good. So I'm going to open up the mouse look script. And then here, just above this, I'm going to type if input.get mouse button down. And then we'll put zero, I believe it is. Then we should be able to do all this. So let's see if it works. It should allow us to move when we press the zero mouse button. It likes it. So instead of get mouse button down, we'll just put get mouse button because it was only re registering and we'd actually press it down. We need it to register it when it's touched. So at the moment we shouldn't be able to move when it loads. Press it, there we go. And you can't press any other one, so we can now smoothly look around. You might not want to do this bit for a first person shoot, we could go in there, we could go away. So that one works. Now let's add some firing to it, which we've done before. So I'm going to go to our character, and I'm just going to basically put a cube on him for now, just so we can see where our ship is. So cube, uh, let's stretch it out a little, and thin it in. In fact, flatten it out. That'll do for a ship, right? Hopefully. Ship. And we'll stick this in character and put it to 000. There we go. So now we shouldn't be able to see it. Perfect, but we've got a ship. So I'm just going to add two um, cylinders to it just so we can know where the guns are going to go. 000. Zero. There we go. And this is obviously gone messed up. There. Global. Perfect. So let's size it down a little. And bring it out here. It's still too big. One day we'll make it so you can switch views as well, so you can see where it's going to go. Duplicate it. Perfect. That'll do. Why not? So we're going to rename both of these to ship weapons. Stick this in ship, perfect. So now we're going to go in the front and duplicate ship weapons. And shrink it all the way down as much as possible this way. And remove the capsule colliders and mesh renderers. Come in and paste it here. Perfect. Move it out a little bit. And we can paste this into our character again. So ship. So weapon spawn points. Stick that in the ship. And we'll stick one on each weapon. Just so we know where they are. Perfect. So now we have a mini kind of ship. Just for now. And now we're going to set the shooting up for it. So we're going to go to player. Unless we've got a weapon script. Which we have. Go into here. Right click. Create. Folder. Space. And in here we'll create a new one saying space fire. Uh, yes. What's we called it on our player? Player fire, yeah. So open both these up because they're pretty much the same on what we've got to do. So player fire, we can copy all of this, but we're going to delete most of it. So we don't need any of these two here. And uh, we don't need any of these shortcut keys. Yeah, actually, we will keep one shortcut key then. So, weapon number one. Don't need two or them. Don't need that. We don't need these here, but we do need the fireball one. Don't need those or that or that. Perfect. So, we can note that out. Q. 
keep that up so it increases us and note the audio out perfect so that's pretty much nearly done but we don't want it to key on it we want it to go input dot get mouse button uh, down here yeah, that'll be best then we'll see I believe it's two might be one so let's see bullet um, what number we're on if we press the mouse button if it equals that number create a fireball at then what we need to do is somehow store our object so we're going to type var um, bullet spawn points array in fact game object array equals new game object 2 so it stores two objects bullet spawn point will fire from number 0 perfect so that will be single shot so we could even put that in if we like just quickly now single shot fireball and then double shot what we can do is add ammo as well so you get limited ammo so you're not absolutely blasting it the entire time perfect so this one here number two, two. and then we just put an else there just to stop lagging everything then in here we'll just duplicate this number two and instead of bullet fire we'll call it bullet single fire and in here again bullet double fire one and then we can just duplicate these and do it again two two of course if you want it to fire l absolutely loads of them all you'd make it do is put it in a for loop to do it because it's even faster but you'll plus two because we're using two at once and we'll move it to point one so that should be a simple firing script for a character ship so we're gonna go in stick it on our character because we need it and so we've got an error so where's our error it's because we're putting strings there we go stick it on here so our error is here game object got a fine bullet spawn point we don't need it so we can just get rid of this and that and these here and a bit more of that and a tiny bit more of that where's an add to that perfect so now hopefully it should let us fire yeah we've got bullet fireball perfect so it adds it we see that we have no variables even though we're supposed to have them because it's still loading perfect oh I got hiccups then so we can go to our character weapon spawn point weapon spawn point perfect so now stick our fireball on and weapons hide hide fireball perfect let's try it fire oh dear as you can see our guns are colliding with our ship so we'll get rid of these because we don't need them and try again there we go no more oh I pressed the wrong one you have to press the middle mouse button to fire press 2 So as you can see we're firing from the long location so we can fly after our bullets and we still have glitching issues because two colliders are messing up which I believe uh, is our ship that's our error where's our camera so our camera is completely off compared to it so if we go to the left and move our ship in fact we'll move our camera down about here yeah that'll do I like I like to see the guns in between it on games so hopefully now we should have no graphical issues 
two. Perfect. I don't know why that fireball's not going up more than two. But they should automatically destroy it, like they are. So, let's go in, let's change it to one. The reason we're doing it is zero is your left mouse button, one is your right mouse button, and two is your middle mouse button. For those of you who don't know, you can press your scroll bar down, your scroll bar button thing. So let's try again, one more time. That's it, now we can fire. Now I've got a real first person shooter. Perfect, so let's have a look. And we can go into space, we don't want to though, we can fly around. And one day we'll add an atmosphere so you can't go in. As you see they're all bouncing off that, we need to make them disappear one day. But that'll do for this tutorial, so it's a basic firing script covering some basics, some new things kind of thing. Thank you for watching and see you next time.